Yo guys, now welcome back to this new video here on the channel and on today's video we will be discussing the Bitcoin and cryptocurrency market here. So right now I want to be right away say to everyone out there, Happy New Year. Hopefully you guys have an amazing 2021 but let's get an even better 2022 all together here. So guys, thank you so much for once again tuning in here towards this new update video here on Bitcoin and let's crush this market. But before going in towards the content, guys, I real quickly want to be asking you guys if you guys can smash up that like button of course as well consider hitting that subscribe button if you have it already and of course don't forget to ring the bell notification so you will be definitely not miss out on any of the content but bitcoin yesterday evening well we were having new year's eve saw we, we saw bitcoin coming down pretty significantly in a pretty rapid pace there of course bitcoin came down within approximately six percent in just a matter of eight hours and as well on the um yeah final uh, uh, yeah second to last loss for hourly candle before the yearly candle close so that was of course a little bit of fortune to see so that i have said it several times what we're currently basically doing with bitcoin because basically the whole period that we have been trading on we can summon it up very easily of course the green box on the lower side is your accumulation range the red box on the top side is your distribution range as soon and I will be saying as soon as we do break one of these levels, so Bitcoin going to close for hourly candle below the green box here, or Bitcoin is going to close a four hourly candle above the red box, then it is going to be showing us massive market volatility. But as long as we're not breaking out in this pattern, I will be not readily call for certain targets to be for Bitcoin to head towards. Yes, I will be looking for extremely bearish targets around the 42,000 US dollars as soon as Bitcoin does break this lower side of support. But right now we can see clearly while Bitcoin has been forming a lower low here on the market, it has been of course as well retesting the green box here. But together with this retest, of course, it's currently forming a higher low here on the RSI. So we're seeing a very strong momentum divergence getting formed here on the RSI for Bitcoin on the four hourly candles and of course it is right now retesting this lower side of support slash uh, yeah support here of this green box so what do we right now expect there I personally do still expect a little bit of a continuation up here because we have not been creating a bullish divergence on the four hourly candles for a while here because if we're going to look back here the last bullish divergence was of course over here on the 26th of uh, December so personally I do expect this is going to be having a pretty positive effect on the market and most likely this will be dragging Bitcoin up here towards targets around the 50k again here I personally do think that is of course extremely likely to, likely to be reaching of course um we could be looking clearly as well to a different uh, resistance line here uh, excuse me for a second and that's of course this box over here you can clearly see bitcoin on the four hourly candles is getting rejected every single time by this range here and so far this looks as well like a range that we do want to be keeping our eyes wide open on because bitcoin had of course hard times of breaking through this level before bitcoin of course flipped this level into support as well already before and right now we're about to go for another retest so in my opinion it's going to be a pretty important level to keep our eyes wide open on but as well, Bitcoin on the uh, one hour candles right now bounces very strongly from our horizontal target. Uh, this was of course a, pr a pretty uh, significant bounce here because yeah, like you can see last time around, Bitcoin on the one hour candles got stopped out as well on this level last time around as well. So yeah, we were expecting that this level, the 45.6k was going to hold up very well here. But yeah, like we were speaking on the four early candles that if we're going to close in the four early candle below the green box, it's going to be definitely look for uh, a pretty significant fall here this is all going to be for the the one hour candle so i expect targets around the 42.3k here on bitcoin as soon as we do break this uh, support range here with a one hour candle close and it could be another fall of an approximately 7.4 percent so do take that in consideration as soon as bitcoin does break with this um the one hour candles or four hourly candles this level over here with a significant candle close of course that we're going to be looking for extremely bearish targets and that could be having of course a wider bearish effect on the market what you do not want to be seeing here of course we could be as well look for some trend lines right now here we could be looking for the down slope resist line from the highs over here. We could be looking for the different down sloping resist line from the highs. We could be, of course, as well, approach the previous line that we, we, of course, got faked out on. But right now, of course, we flipped it into support, then we fell below it. And right now, it's going to be probably provide a lot of resistance. But yeah, these are, of course, going to be three very important levels um, to keep our eyes wide open on right now. 
And of course, I personally think as soon as we are breaking uh, this yeah, significant downward sloping trend line from the highs here, we're still going to be experiencing a lot of resistance in this current trend that we're currently trading in. So do as well take this in, in the, do take this as well in consideration. As well, we're going to be having this horizontal range that we have to be breaking through around the 47.8k, 47.9k. And of course, yeah, close above it is once again hopefully going to result in this time right then in a continuation up here. But of course, eventually I want to be seeing the 49.3k again broken as soon as we do break this level over here on the highs that is going to be leading towards a massive market pump here because uh, this level of course has not been really proving to uh, to uh, signify a lot of volatility so if we do break above this level uh, it's going to be okay for continuation up here but eventually the uh, the the long-term game and the most important thing to be breaking right now is going to be the 49.3k range and i will be keeping uh, as well my eyes wide open on that level so as well, Bitcoin on the daily time frame right now looks to be, of course, uh, still supporting very, very well the trend here. Like you can see, upper sloping support line getting formed there. And we're bouncing from it every single day. Yesterday, we came down a little bit further. Right now, it looks to be that we're forming maybe, uh, maybe a double bottom right now. That could be as well a very nice play, of course, if we're going to be playing in it. Bring it, playing it out like this here. If we're going to see a continuation up here, maybe in the same pace here, we could be seeing, of course, a very beautiful W structure getting formed there. But in my opinion, the chart is looking pretty strong right now. So I do look forward towards where it is heading towards. But so far, we're still bouncing from our upward sloping support line. What is, of course, extremely important to um, to take your eyes on right now here. But guys, anyways, this was my very quick update video. Later today, I will be dropping out, uh, I'll dropping out another video about Ethereum, and it will be dropping out an extra tutorial here about how to read the RSI but the guys anyways thank you so much for watching towards this amazing video and I'll check you guys in the next one peace out